knucklehead. Get, it, get, the, get, this, get this guy out of here. Hey. So I just got a few acoustic songs. I was in the neighborhood. I went and saw the, the Dead Summer Solstice show. songs about soup kitchens. Well, unknown people and auspicious folks. No big egos here, cause we're all fucking broke. But don't you cut in line in front of me, cause I'm a soup kitchen celebrity. It's where the great, the greatest and the greatest all meet. You don't feel too great when you got nothing to eat. But don't you cut in line in front of me, cause I'm a soup kitchen celebrity. Yeah, soup kitchen celebrity. I'm at Martin DePoris from 12 to 3. And when I wake up late, my stomach starts to holler. I catch a seven buster cool and walla. When my calorie intake be low. I go down to visit Arrow to hear Coach Train Blue. But don't you cut in line in front of me, cause I'm a soup kitchen celebrity. Yeah, it's Bob Noxious and Tim City D. And it's Gary Floyd of the Dicks right in front of me. My favorite dishwasher can get in where he please, Mr. Darren Poligro of the Dead Kennedys. So I don't wanna hear when you in my hometown that you pouring your hungry. We're all chowing down. Hey, but don't you cut in line in front of me, cause I'm a soup kitchen celebrity, yeah. Soup kitchen celebrity. I'm at Martin DePoris from 12 to 3. And when I wake up late and my stomach start to holler, I catch a seven buster coal and walla. When my calorie intake be low, I go down to visit Darrow to hear Cochrane blow. Don't you cut in line in front of me, cause I'm a soup kitchen celebrity. You got an invitation to swallow your pride, cause it wasn't for them soup kitchens we all might have died. Don't you cut in line in front of me, cause I'm a soup kitchen celebrity, yeah. Soup kitchen celebrity, I'm at Martin DePoris from 12 to 3, and when I wake up late, and my stomach start to holler. I catch a seven bust a coal and walla. When my calorie intake be low, I'm not slow, you know. I go down to visit Arrow to hear Train blow. Don't you cut in line in front of me, cause I'm a ever loving where's the seconds line? Home cooking mama's boy, kinda soup kitchen celebrity. My family's just a little weird. Daddy wears a dress and mommy grows a beard. All my neighbors, they complain all the time. They really don't understand our kind. Little brother got thrown out of school. Drowning kitties in the kiddie pool. Big brother's in Berkeley jail. Mom and daddy won't pay his bail. Big sister, she complains all the time. She's hooked up on barbs and wine. All my uncles are drinking boars. All my aunts are lying whores. Grandma sells dope to high school kids. Grandpa don't care as long as he gets his. No one really seems to understand. Not sure if I'm a woman or a man. My family's just a little weird. Sure, my family's just a little weird. My family's just a little weird. My family's just a little weird. So I got a controversial one here. It's called 
S period, K period, I period, N period, H period, E period, A period, D period. It's called Skinhead. And, you know, it's going to seem like... Yeah, something got painted over there. But uh, it's, it's really... It's, it's supposed to piss off some people. It's supposed to piss off the kind of, you know, back in San Francisco, some of the Powell Street people that hang out there have been uh, out now fag bashing. In fact, they, they really did a job on a guy named Sonny who was an SF skin, jaw. And uh, they, they beat up some other guy, a friend of ours named Block, who's helped with the band. They stole his leather jacket. They're a bunch of guys that uh, they have uh, made in the USA tattooed. No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. Well, anyway. No, no that, was, that was another time there. Yeah, I know what he's talking about. Cholo stole his jacket and Cholo gave it back from San Jose. But then he had it robbed from him the next week. Anyway, this song's about skinheads. I play it for Mark outside, who's a skinhead I, I kind of like. I out and out like this guy. I don't even kind of like him. I really like him. I, I've never seen him be a bully to people, and that's the really thing. Because what's in your mind is in your mind. You know, if you want to be proud of your country, you want to be this or that, you want to have your own opinion, it's your life, it's your mind, have your opinion. It's just when your opinion starts affecting other people and it's not even safe to be walking down Market Street or someone's going to beat you up because what they, you look like or what, you know, you're just not cool enough or you look wimpy or whatever. So anyway, you know, this song is not to, supposed to generate, you know, hatred. It's really supposed to be the last two lines of the song. So throw these guys out of here. Get, get their club money back. Tim, Tim. Anyway, here we go. Remember, bag bashing Nazi skinhead, you are not my friend. S is cause you're so stupid. K like the KKK. I because you're an idiot. And N a Nazi too. H is cause we hate you. E, each and every day. A is cause you're an asshole. D, disappear and go away. Ba 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 I know he used to beat up people for no reason, but he was still really nice to me. And, you know, he used to rob people in the middle of the night and beat them up and stuff, but all the stuff he used to get, he used to give it to me. And now he's not here anymore, and I really miss him. Hey, hold it right there. I don't think that song. You trying to put people down? We don't put people down. We're not violent. You want violence? You seen the other night we slammed and kicked and hurt this guy so bad? Yeah. <laughs> So S is cause we're really sorry that K you act like a knucklehead. I is for isocracy. N is cause it's not cool. H is cause this boy is hoping E each and every day that A we can create anarchy to de destroy the state. That's what it's about. Getting it together to create anarchy to fuck with the world out there. And every time I think about, oh, I've had it with punk rock, I've had it with skinheads, I've had it, I go out into the real world and I say, fuck that bullshit, I'd rather come back and hang out with, you know, us knuckleheads. So that's that one. All right. So, uh, yippee, yippee. Chicken squawk and then I'll get out of here and let the asexuals from Montreal, Canada, those rip it up. All right, so you know this one, right? Yeah. And talk about revolution and evolution. You got to, you know, just like Emma Goldman said, if I can't dance at this party, then I want to sit this revolution out. If they ain't going to let the chickens dance at the party, I'm going to sit that revolution out. So here we go. 
Every time I'm coming to the store and I'm seeing them chickens by the door, but eating them dead birds really just ain't for me. Of course, I don't eat roast beef or fish and pork or pig, just not my dish. I just want to set all my chickens free. Well, in chicken circles, it's Adolf Purdue. He wants to feed Phyllis chickens to you, but I don't take orders from the Colonel Saunders, do you? And I don't want to eat no hens, not even every now and then. I just want to go and set all my chickens free. Well, wishing Daffy a lot of luck, cause the Elmer Fuds are out of hunting duck. They're dreaming about a little fricassee. And Bugs Bunny, he's a friend of mine. Eating him, I feel like Frankenstein. So come on down and set them chickens free. Well, Foghorn Leghorn wrote to me, he said, Davy boy, you okay with me? Because you learned how to set your chickens free. So swing it to the east and swing it to the west. Just swing it with the chickens that you love best. Just come on down and do the chicken squawk with me. Here we go. So swing to the east and swing to the west. Just swing with the chickens that you love best. Come on down and do the chicken squawk with me.